hi guys welcome to my kitchen and thanks for tuning in let's make this delicious nigerian stew so guys this is a part two we're going to continue if you haven't seen the part one please do check it out we're going to start off by spicing our meat and these are all the spices that i'm going to use i have rosemary thyme blended pepper i have seasoning cube i have curry powder and i have my salt you can use any seasoning that you have available at home is all what you prefer and here i'm going to add minced garlic and blended ginger and lastly i'm going to add my onions and guys we're going to give that a good mix okay mix it massage it make sure that everything gets in so guys ideally it's better to marinate your meat one hour or two hours before you start cooking but on this beautiful day i don't have enough time to marinate our meat so we're just going to you know take our time to stir it well So yes, I've transferred the meat into my pot and because I'm not marinating the meat, I'm going to add just a little bit of water and put it on the stove to steam. I'm going to steam it and make sure that all the water in it dries up. Now that the meat has steamed, I went ahead to top up more water to now properly cook the meat. I also went ahead to adjust my spices. You can adjust your seasoning if needed always make sure to taste it and see what you need to add okay i covered my pot and allowed my meat to cook to my desired tenderness and i turned the stove off and stick out my meat because we're going to be frying that meat yummy i went ahead to place my pan on the stove i added some oil i allowed it to warm up then i chopped up some onions and dashed it into the oil to boost the flavor of our chicken so guys when the onions disintegrate a bit i went ahead to add my chicken we're going to leave this to cook till it gets to your desired color you can take it out of the oil and guys this is the meat oil and we're going to strain it out we're going to use all those goodies to make our stew i allowed my oil to warm up then i added my onions garlic and ginger i sauteed for about five minutes you know to make the onions a little bit translucent and for it to disintegrate its flavors into the oil guys i went ahead to add my tomato paste and i sauteed that for about three minutes and then i went ahead to add my tomato blend from yesterday so guys we're going to keep forming this so it becomes translucent which is going to take a long time about 20 minutes Add more salt and 
more maggi. If it's needed, I'm gonna add it, but if it's not needed, we're going to skip adding it. So you wanna make sure you put all your meat stuff because the meat stuff already has enough spices on it, enough maggi and enough salt on it. So you wanna put that first before you can add salt and maggi in as needed. When you have your tomatoes looking like this, then it's time to add you want to taste the still I'm going to now add my maggie and salt stir again So guys, I will go ahead and stir fry this for another 10 minutes because I want the flavor of the stew to get into my chicken and the flavor of the chicken to get into my stew if that makes sense. Basically, I just want the two flavors to blend well. So doing that for a long time is going to help the chicken to actually disintegrate into the stew and all this together is going to give our stew a very nice taste so guys at this point our stew is ready but if you're someone that don't enjoy dry stew like myself you can go ahead and adjust the water but you want to add the water bit by bit so you don't put too much and when you get to your desired consistency you can go ahead and stop stir the stew again and guys always test test to see if you need to adjust the seasoning because you've added more water so if you need to adjust the seasoning go ahead and do so stir again and you know cover the pot and allow that come to a boil and guys mm, our Nigerian stew is ready you can go ahead and enjoy your stew with your favorite rice like I know we're all going to do <laughs> or with yam or plantain and that's it enjoy with anything that you want so guys I want to ask a question who actually introduced this tradition of making rice and stew every Sunday in Nigeria who invented that because I really want to know I've been wondering it's like every house you go to in Nigeria, they're always making rice and stew, especially those of us from um, the eastern part of the country. So if you know the answer to that question, please tell me in the comment section. I would like to know. <laughs> so guys, thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you like our kind of content here, please consider subscribing, put on your notification bell so you don't miss out whenever we upload new videos. So guys, that's it from me to you guys today. Do take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>